Hey everyone, today we're going to be checking out the new Gemini CLI, which just came out. Uh, we're going to be checking it out with container use so we can safely develop changes to our application in containerized environments so we don't mess up our host system as the agent is developing its solutions. Uh, so first of all, I have Gemini pulled up here. We can see uh, down here it says we're using one Gemini markdown file and one MCP server. And if I hit control T, I can actually see this MCP server. And so the server is container use. So I've got this configured. It has these 10 tools and their descriptions. So we can see exactly what Gemini sees as it's using container use. Uh, and I won't go through each of these tools individually, but they're all the tools needed to interact with this containerized environment, to read files, run commands, do all these things, and commit those changes to Git work trees. Uh, so to configure that, what I did, uh, we just hop out of Gemini here. Uh, I have my settings JSON. Uh, we can see it has a bunch of stuff in it related to my setup for Gemini. But most importantly, I've added this block for MCP servers container use. It has the path to my container use binary and the arguments and trust is true. Uh, this is in the container use readme. So you can go there and copy it and add it to your own settings file. So let's jump back in. Uh, we're going to make a change to my personal website uh, with Gemini. So if I open Gemini back up, uh, and real quick, we'll have a look at the website. This is my site. It has lots of stuff on it, like some of my favorite YouTube videos that I've created, uh, some feature projects, my favorite books, and so on. So let's ask Gemini. Uh, change the favorite book section to be your favorite books instead of mine, and give me a URL to my app. Uh, we can see in this configuration, uh, it, it has my project URL here and the Git Git state, uh, no sandbox. So Gemini has its own sandboxing feature where it can run things sandboxed. Uh, this is separate from container use and works quite a bit differently. Uh, so we're not, it's not gonna be giving us the same isolation that container use gives us. Uh, so we can ignore that, we're using container use instead. Uh, and in this case, I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro uh, and I have full context. So let's run this uh, command and it's gonna Load up container use. Hopefully we'll see it create a environment here. So, all right, there we go. So we see things flying by uh, and it should persist in a second for us here. Uh, so let's scroll up. We can see environment create. So using container use, it created an environment called Capital Cowbird uh, with this description. Uh, and then it's gonna be looking at the files in our website uh, and working on that change. Uh, while it's doing that, let's go over here and say see you list. Uh, so I can see that environment that it created and its title uh, and what it's doing. I can say see you watch and watch the commits come in as it's making these changes. Uh, but instead, let's open another agent. And let's ask this one, instead of changing the favorite books to its own favorite books, uh, change the favorite books to the books you think might be my least books and give me a URL of the running app when you're done. Great. So we have two agents running and again, they're working on the same files, very similar changes, but since they're in their own containerized environment, they're not gonna conflict with each other. They're also not gonna mess up my computer with whatever changes. So if we decide all these changes are garbage, then we can throw them out at the end. Uh, so we're gonna let these agents cook for a second. I'm gonna pause and fast forward to when they're both complete and we can see what they came up with. Okay, so both agents have completed, but we also got rate limited before they could actually show us the results in the environments. Uh, but that's okay, because we can just check out the environments ourselves. Uh, and that'll be good enough for today since the APIs are clearly very busy. So if I get out of here and I say, see you list, I can see the two environments that got created uh, by the two different agents uh, quite a while ago now. And I can say, see you check out this one. And now I'm in this branch. I can uh, compare it to the other one, but I can also just run it. Uh, I can say, Dagger call serve up. This is gonna run my app on my local host. So now it's running. Uh, let's go back to Firefox here and we'll see, remember we asked it to change our favorite books. 
Uh, so here's the favorite books right now. These are like my actual favorite books. Let's see what the Gemini decided my favorite books could be. Uh, HTTP post 80. Great. So the website looks the same so far. We scroll down and it decided instead of those books, I actually like The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Dune, Ender's Game, and Armancer. So I think it probably picked just a bunch of popular books uh, that fit within the same kind of sci-fi fantasy themes. Uh, so very nice. But remember, we had another environment that we wanted to compare that to. So let's close that. See you list once again. And we can change to this other environment. So you check out that one. And let's call that same uh, function to actually run our website. And I will go over here and refresh it. So here's what the second agent did when we decided our least favorite books. And let's see, we have the I have Argon, My Immortal, Atlas Shrugs, Twilight, and Fifty Shades of Grey. And these were uh, supposed to be our least favorite books. I haven't read any of them, and I'm guessing they might qualify uh, if we're comparing them to my actual books. But there we have it. So Gemini, uh, despite some, some API struggles that we're seeing on launch day, uh, was stable to it was able to use container use uh, to create two different environments at the same time and make modifications to the same files in isolation. Uh, and there we have it. Thanks for checking it out.